Tate, thanks for joining us post-match. How do you assess today's FA Cup game? Just a disapp disappointing one from my standpoint and from the team's standpoint. Obviously, coming in, we thought, get a win, move on to the next round, but it wasn't that simple. Came for a good side, but from the start, we weren't really at it as we could have been, and me personally, weren't really at it as I could have been, obviously, at the start. So, a bit disappointing, but I know, to make, the, to make my debut for this club, I've been working for 10 years to make it happen, so it was a good moment for me, personally. It's a game of far margin, just a line shows that, just, just the goal. Yeah. Wait, just got away from us today, obviously the red card maybe that's not pivotal. Yeah, the red card stretched us a bit, going from, you know, like from 11 men to 10 men to them kind of dominating the ball to just sitting in and hit, trying to hit them on counter or goal kicks. But, and they've scored a world, to be fair, they haven't broken us down, they had chances, but they haven't really broken us down to create a clear cut chance. So they scored a world, fair play to them, but yeah, a bit disappointing from our end. And that's character from the team when you go down to 10 men, as you say, they, they didn't really break us down, it was... A, bit of individual brilliance that settled the game. Yeah, yeah it was a tough, tough ask, especially with so many young boys out there, but I think, yeah, we stuck together for as long as we could. Obviously, it's a bit too much for us in the end, but yeah, it's one to learn from and move forward. And, move. and for you personally, it was your first team opportunity, and you played in a number of positions, a number of roles. How did you feel showcasing that and getting involved in the battle? Yeah, something I pride myself on, that I'm able to play a couple of positions, but I think start, I started kind of slow where I started on the right, side of the diamond weren't really too comfortable, too settled, so, but when I moved, when the gaffer made the changes and moved me down deeper, I felt like I got more into the game and got more comfortable and then after the red card, going back to centre back again is one of the positions I can play, so it's just, I can improve but it's just one of the things I can do, so it's quite it's a positive. Unfortunately, it's been the season so far for you, disrupted by injury, but good to get minutes and 120 at that into your legs and out yeah. on the pitch. Yeah, it's difficult, obviously it's my first full 90, well, 120, but yeah, it's good to get back out there, you know, being injured for the first half of the season wasn't ideal, missing the three, four months from what was really nothing, there's a back fracture and out of nowhere just told I can't play football, I can't train, I can't do anything for so long, it was a bit you know, just disappointing, especially with me trying to make the breakthrough, but it's one of the things, this football comes with the game, isn't it? It's a tough injury to come back from, so testament to your character, what are your aims, I guess, for the months ahead? Pardon, sorry. What will your aims be for the months and weeks ahead? Obviously just train, Hopefully stick around the first team, train as much as possible, improve, improve, nail down the position in the squad. That's, that's obviously everyone's dream, everyone's ambition to not just be a young player trained, not to be a first team player, you know what I mean? So it comes with hard work, comes with just learning from the mistakes and improving from there. So hopefully I can do that towards the end of the season going forward. Good to see you out there, Tate. Thanks for joining us.